Hi, welcome to Wholeheartedly for the Lord Bible Journaling with Sherry. Today's process video will be a random shop pick. And the shop that was randomly chosen was Charlene Warwick. That's what came out of the box. So I am going to use a Charlene Warwick devotional, the travel light devotional, which you've seen me do a process video on. I'll be using my scripture notebook here. C, I'm sorry, CSB, first through third John. And then this is my notebook that I keep when I do Charlene Warwick's devotionals, I keep them in here physically. Sometimes I may do them digitally, but when I do them physically, here. And this is the beauty of His Holiness. So when I chose it, I did that devotional portion, and then I did the Travel Light, the first one in Travel Light. And this is the one that I'm going to share with you. It really blessed me. Of course, all of her devotionals do, but this one really blessed me, and I wanted to do a process video on it since it was my random shop video. I'll also be using some Distressed Ink from Tim Holtz, my brush, and a Crayola marker to underline the scripture. That's it. So thank you for watching. And remember, if I can vibe with journal, so can you. And for those of you who are new to my channel, random shop pick or Bible journal channel challenge is a bunch of shops that I like to shop from that I have a lot of kits from. I put them in a little baggie and I shake them up and then I pull it out and that's the shop that I'll use to do a Bible journal entry. Sometimes it'll be all the time I'll do one on a video, but most times I'll also do one on Instagram just to use up my kits, just to be creative and just to make myself kind of think on my feet and meditate on my feet. And it's just another way for the Lord to minister to me through his word and by his spirit. And so that's it. I hope you are blessed by this video. Thank you for watching. And I'll leave her information down below for her Etsy shop, as well as her buy me a coffee club, which is great. It's only $8 a month. You get beautiful freebies. And then you also get uh, devotionals and things like that which this is where this came from and it's really a blessing let's see what this part of the devotional says and I hope you are blessed by it take care the devotional reads travel light this month we are going to delve into the sensitive topics of forgiving ourselves and even forgiving God so let's just clear the air straight out of the gate here the Bible does not once mention self-forgiveness and it certainly never mentions forgiving God. We read in the Bible about how God forgives us and about how we should forgive others, but there is nothing about forgiving ourselves. So what is forgiving yourself all about then? Self-forgiveness is really just accepting the forgiveness that God offers you and letting go of the shame and guilt that you have been carrying around. And for forgiving God, well, of course, God does not sin. He does no wrong, and so technically he does not need forgiveness for anything. But we, in our flawed humanity, sometimes find ourselves feeling that God has let us down or wronged us in some way, and so we carry a grudge, a sense of resentment, even though we may never actually admit this out loud to anyone. Forgiving God is reconciling with him, letting go of the hurt, and learning to trust him again. And then she has a little caption down here that says, don't let the pain of the past rob you from God, God's calling for your future. And the scripture reference is 1 John chapter 1, verse 9, and I'll be reading this from the CSB version, and it says, if we confess our sins, he is faithful and righteous to forgive us our sins and to cleanse us from all unrighteousness. That is an awesome scripture that can go perfectly with this devotional. And I was just so blessed by it because there have been situations in my life that I had not quote unquote forgiven myself for. But what it really was, I had repented of it. I had asked God for forgiveness for it, but the guilt and the shame of it still lingered over me. And what was happening was I wasn't letting God forgive me. He had forgiven me and I needed to just trust his forgiveness, even though I felt so bad and felt so filthy and wrong for this thing. 
but he had forgiven me for it and I needed to let it go because God doesn't deal in guilt and shame. The spirit of God convicts us, but Satan deals with guilt and shame. And once we're forgiven, he has forgiven us and I know that he has cleansed me. So I'm so grateful for that. And then on the other flip coin, there had been situations in my life where I kind of resented God. I was angry at him for allowing some things to happen, didn't understand his word, didn't understand his will, his permissive will and his perfect will and all of these different things. But now, thank God that I'm understanding more of his word and how, not how he works because his thoughts are not our thoughts, but just kind of that he has good in mind for me. It doesn't matter what it looks like. So I don't have to resent him or hold anything against him because something happened to me. That's part of life. And then sometimes there are just some things that he needs to process me through in order to conform me to the image of Christ. So I'm so grateful for this portion of this devotional to just let it go and allow God's forgiveness to suffice. Because if he's forgiven us and if he's cleansed us, we can trust it because he never lies. Thank you for watching and I hope you are inspired and encouraged. Let go of the shame, let go of the guilt, trust him again. Thank you for watching and take care.